Now I'd like to show you how to calibrate the Dansam ACC2 product. We have two options. You can calibrate it with the AC, uh, AC, uh, ACP10 controller, the wire controller, or you can calibrate it with the Dansam PC tool. Uh, no matter if you're using the, the wire controller or the PC tool, you need also to use the Dansam calibration kit, which is two hoses, two hanging hooks, and, uh, and two pressure nozzles that you can press through the foam of the unit so that you can measure the, the, the delta pressure loss over the heat exchanger in the one direction or in the other direction. Now I'll demonstrate you how to calibrate it by means of the wired controller. The first thing you need to do is to look up in the manual to find out what is the airflow you need. And this you can look up uh, in the manual here where you can see that there is a, a correspondence between the, the delta P over the heat exchanger and the airflow. In, in this demonstration today, I would like to show you how to calibrate it for 100 cubic meters for supply air and extract air. First thing I need to do is I need to go into uh, installation mode with my small control here. And to come into installation mode, I need to press both the manually speed and the weak program speed at the same time for five seconds. This I will demonstrate now. One, two, three, four, five. When the controller is in, in installation and calibration modus, it's constantly running speed free because that is the, the, the speed we need to calibrate for the nominal flow at the house. And also the installer can see it's in this modus because it's flashing both the, the manually speed and the wheel program speed LEDs. Now I have put my pressure nozzle in to, in to see the, the supply air. And um, let me see, yes, it's already for the supply air. And now, to calibrate the, the supply air, I need to press the cooling button, because here, this is a supply air button, and this is extra button, doing this installation uh, modus. And now I want to have more airflow, because my instrument uh, is showing today only 30 pascals, and in my calibration curve, I can see that 100 cubic meter corresponds with 50 pascal of pressure loss. So I need to speed up from the 30 pascal until the, the 50 pascals. So supply air here, and I press more. And every time I press and I get a beep, the controller is telling me, I understand, you want more air. And we can also hear now, it's speeding up a little bit. And I'm now looking at my instrument, and now I have the 50 pascals. So that was supply air. Next thing I need to do is I need to go for the exhaust air. And this is on the other page in my manual. And there is describing how to put the uh, pressure hoses into the, into the unit. And this I will do now. Simply by moving these around. So. I'm now measuring the exhaust air of the unit. And again, as a starting point, I'm now measuring here around 35 pascals. That means I need to have more fan speed because I'm looking for 50 pascals. And to have more exhaust speed, I press this button here, the, the alarm arrow, and I press the weak program to have more. And we can hear it's giving me the beep. And also we can now hear it speeding up a little bit. And now I can see on my instrument, I have the 50 pascals, so it's enough. You can see the 50 pascals here, and we are in good shape. So I have now calibrated the unit for 50 pascals supply and 50 pascals extract, and I'm ready to go. And if I'm um, the good installer, of course, I will go out of installer mode before I leave now. And this I can do by pressing these two press buttons again for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. And now we are out of installation motors again. And this I can see because it's no longer flashing the two LEDs under the manually and weak program. And also I can see it because I can now speed control it again with this press button. So that was a calibration with the wire control. Now I would like to show you how to uh, calibrate the HCC2 product from the Dance MPC tool. To do that, you need to use also the Dansam calibration kit with these two hoses and the two 
uh, nozzles and you need a delta pressure instrument. This time I'm using a chemo instrument. And uh, then to start up the calibration, you need to know what is the airflow you need from your home. Uh, in this example here, I will demonstrate how to, how to calibrate it for 100 uh, cubic meters per hour supply air and also 100 cubic meters per hour extract air. And before I start, I need to make sure that all the duct is correct uh, mounted uh, and also that the A and B switch is correct and I did uh, test that before. This is an A installation and also the A and B switch is set for A. And what I also did was I made sure that all the duct work for the home is set correct and the, the preset of all valves is in place, like one centimeter opening of all, so I'm ready to make uh, the initial calibration here. Now I put the US cable into the unit and into my computer and I'm ready to go. And now it popped up on my screen and I can see the serial number is recognized by the, the PC tool and I can press connect. And then it's asking me, would you like to be a user or would you like to be an installer? Today I'm the installer, so I press password 1234 and press enter. And uh, now the PC tool will start up in the, in the main screen and uh, where I can see everything, everything is in contact. It's the A uh, unit, it's correct. And uh, it's now in manual operation. But I go to the calibration tab and I'm uh, ready to calibrate now. And as I said before, I would like to try and calibrate it for 100 uh, cubic meters per hour. And uh, I will follow the, the instruction here on the left hand corner of the, of the tool. And the first thing I need to do is to go into installer mode. So I press the enter button. And also now you can see with the wire control, it's also reflecting, it's now in installer mode. And it's telling me, please uh, select which extract air you would like to have. And here I have the, the bar where I can, I can uh, move forward and backward with more or less uh, airflow. But it's also instructing me, please put in your, your manometer instrument in the, in the holes of, the, of that air pass, which I did before. And now it's asking me, please put in your desired exhaust air. And this is the, the, the glider where I can, I can change that. And I will set it for the 100 cubic meters per hour. which I have now. And then the PC tool is telling me that the pressure loss over the heat exchanger on the exhaust air circuit should be 47 pascals. And at the moment I can see it's only 24 pascals. So I need to speed up a little bit uh, the fans. And uh, this is the next helping information. It's telling me with a green um, square around this uh, field that I can speed up. And I'll try to speed it up a little bit. And now we can hear that it's speeding up the fans. And also I can see that it's now moving up with more pressure. And at the moment it's 40 Pascal. That means a little, I need a little bit more fan speed. So I'm going to 1800 RPMs. And again we can hear it speeding up. And now I have 54 Pascals, which is a little bit too much. So I'm moving backward a little bit more. So I might be around 1700. And we can hear again it's moving down. So now I actually have exactly the 47 pascals. So it's correct calibrated for the exhaust there. So it gives me now the 100. Then I press next and it's asking me now, please move the tools, your, your pressure measuring, uh, measuring tool to the other uh, nozzle holes for the supply air, which I will now do. So, I'm ready to measure the uh, supply air. And initially it's telling me, okay, I already have 62 pascals. So it's actually too much uh, uh, airflow because now I'm pressing next, it will tell me, please enter your desired supply air. And it's already set at 100. And it's telling me, please look for 47.3 pascals. And since it's already 62, I can, I can speed down a little bit the supply air fan. So now I have speeded it uh, to the very lowest, more or less, I can get. 
and it's around uh, the, the 47 pascals. So I mean, I'm home safe. So the, also the supply uh, is, is correct now. And the last thing I need to do is press next and I can now close the installation procedure and it's out of installer mode. This I can also see over here now is normal operation and I can, I can operate the unit here in manually, for example. So that means my calibration job is ended. So thank you for listening here and uh, you now know how to calibrate the unit with the Dansam PC tool or with the Dansam wire control. Thank you for listening.